that, yeah, I, I know some people who are getting their checks already. It's crazy. People are getting their de direct deposit. They have cash on hand, 1200 bucks. So this is a real thing. People are saying it's fake. It's a hoax or it hasn't been passed. People are getting their cash, people. All right. So that's going <laughs> to have an effect on the markets. And guess what? Everybody's going to go to their normal life after they spend their whole check. All these people who are getting these checks are people who, who were making less than $75,000 a year anyway. Mm -hmm. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to go and spend that shit. They're not using it for necessities. They're using it to just spend on bullshit. And I mean, that's that's the idea that that's the idea the economists have, though. The yeah. more consumerism, the more the, the more you buy, the more the economy keeps going. Yeah, yeah. But guess what happens after everybody spends their money? The markets go right back down, baby. And that's when well, I no, it's um, money. it's that's multiplier like effect. effect. You know how like that. You know how like no, cats it, are like jumpy. Like the, the cat eventually has to go down. I don't know. Someone made that analogy to me earlier today. That's <laughs> that's some communist shit right there. I'm not gonna lie. But um, <laughs> no, hold up. Um, so th the idea is, if more people spend and more people buy stuff in the economy, then those people that make those products get employed, and the people that own the company get employed, um, get a job, and the people that also sell the materials to that company get employed. So every time you spend a dollar, it's more like eight dollars into the economy. But you guys are forgetting the biggest thing, like why we are at our homes right now. Be people are not able to make these products. That's that's the problem. No, there's a, there's also a lot of like people can buy stuff right now, like online, like Amazon and stuff like that. But still, it's gonna take it's gonna take longer. Like I don't know if the the demand for consumers and products are that high. I I feel like the stimulus bill was meant to. I don't know. Nintendo switches have been selling out everywhere. <laughs> I think yeah. Nintendo is facing a lawsuit for selling them during the quarantine. <laughs> oh, I feel like you guys are um, extrapolating, extrapolating, Extra I don't, I don't know, extrapolating here because you like see this small sample of people who are buying. Sorry to find that word. I don't know that word. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, when you take a small sample of something and you just like assume that it's the same around everything else. That is a terrible definition. But well, I, the reality is people are sitting inside their homes and they're bored as shit. And when you have a little bit of extra spending money and you paid your rent and you live with your mom and you paid all hey, this stuff, now you're just going to be a consumer. People hey, you, you might get that new Netflix subscription. You might get that Spotify subscription. It doesn't yeah. have to be a product. Yeah. You have to have, you have to understand the mindset behind these these people who are getting these checks, they're getting the check for a reason. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna generalize like Zach is doing right now, but um, <laughs> I'm saying if you're not, if you're not thinking that these people that are getting these checks are not spending it on their, on a new like Hulu or Disney Plus subscription, like they're gonna be spending on every single product. The idea is to get the money into consumers so they can spend, and people can get that are working at these companies can get employed. Yes, that's the whole point. It's it's a little circulation. It's like they're pumping money in for a reason so it can circulate. The thing is, once those twelve hundred dollars are spent and they're yeah. put into hands, those people are going to hoard the money or invest it elsewhere, and that's where people will get this twelve hundred dollars stimulus fucked up. It's going to cause too much inflation. Uh, I don't know about that. I think I think it's going to be an immense. I think it's going to be immensely helpful to recovering the economy. Right now, when people can't even go back to work, people are sitting on their ass at home all day. The production levels aren't going to go up by that much from this twelve hundred dollars stimulus, and when it when people spend their twelve hundred dollars, it's going right back down. People are going to be employed for a short amount of time. And, but you also have the problem of like not everybody will get their twelve hundred dollars. Like you really know how long it's going to take for every single person who's in that certain tax bracket to receive their money. I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying it's going to take a long time? Or are you saying not many people are going to get? It? I'm saying it will take a long time. Mm. So I don't you know. Might, getting it, is it going to take a long time? A lot of people. I think. Are check this. I week. think. This this is sort of like a, a thing where we just have to wait and see because it's going to be over the next three months and we never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like we could argue all day about this, but it's like it, it whatever happens, it happens. Yeah. That's I mean, you could say that about the economy in general, but yeah, no, I do see your point. If the people that got those stimulus checks, if they were to in, invest it, um, do you think that, that would be still wor that'd be worthwhile for the economy or no? Like no I think well, something in econ that you that you learn is that sort of um, investing in sort of is only a transfer payment, so it's not actually um, part of GDP. So it doesn't increase GDP when you put it into the stock market. 
So meaning that our economy- in a technical in a technical aspect, if all the people that got their twelve hundred dollars put it into the economy or put it into the stock market, it doesn't have it doesn't affect GDP at all. But what does that mean for our economy though, if it doesn't affect the GDP? That means it's it's more more it's better for the consumers that receive these twelve hundred dollars to spend it. Because that's the idea on maybe their bills and stuff to help them out, but to keep the economy going and not sort of like letting the economy die in a sort of way. Pay their rent with it. They don't want 2008. But we don't want them to basically foreclose or on their their home mortgage or their or whatever or their their rent to get kicked out of their house, right? Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, people are already filing for bankruptcy or uh, no unemployment. And you know what's wild? AMC um, theaters might file for bankruptcy. I think Dave and Buster's might file for bankruptcy. What? A lot of huge companies are like on the border of like, like they have a month and they're done. Yeah, but Delta they, as well. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I think it was you who told me that Warren Buffett just sold his Delta and Southwest stocks. Yeah, which uh, I mean, he bought it like a month ago. And he's already selling it. Like, imagine the man that never sells. Or like, he's like all long term yeah. buying it last month and selling it at the lowest point. Yeah, that's bad. That means he really gave up. Well, no, he still owns like a lot yeah, of the company. I think I think he's playing chess, and we're we're looking at it like he's playing checkers. I think I think he's being really strategic, and we're missing what he's doing. He, he's not trading everything publicly, so we can't. I can't really analyze what he's doing but i th- i think he's so, making- like one of the things is like I, a lot of people out of business that's all I'm he's saying. sitting on 228 billion dollars in cash so if he needed the cash he, he has it so it's not like he that's, needs the money to liquidate a, the stock the reason, maybe he just doesn't like that stock but also before um before he sold the only reason we found out he sold was because he owned more than 10 percent the SEC requires that if you own more than ten percent of a company, you need to, you know, put all the files out there. Once, yeah, but he also below, he also owns ten percent into a lot of companies. Once you're below so that, I don't think that's a problem. Once once you're below that ten percent, you no longer have to file anything. You don't have to tell anybody shit. Yeah, I see the shareholders in, in Berkshire Hathaway. So I think it's I think he's being strategic. Who, who knows? Maybe you guys are right. Maybe he's selling all his shares right now, and we don't know it because now he doesn't have to disclose it. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying he's being strategic. Maybe he sold, so now he only owns 9.9% of the company. And so now he's making all these moves with his cash, moving it around, and we don't see it because he's owning less than 10% of all these companies. He's probably buying up so many company, companies that we don't know about right now. And we won't even find out until his shareholder meeting. And he only holds that once a year. It's May 1st. It's May 1st. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, we're not going to find out for another year. So it's like, um, okay. Really? Yeah, that's wild. Really that really man is in during a recession. He's making some money moves. Um, I, I, I'd, I'd recommend buying some Berkshire Hathaway. Um, <laughs> yeah, which is a quarter million dollars a share, by the way. You can buy the B. You can buy the B. Also, um, Robinhood just in uh, just included a uh, fractional share. So if you wanna, if you wanna buy some Robinhood, yeah, fuck or buy into Robinhood. Yeah, bro. Use my code. Uh, Hector Garrett? No. <laughs> Are you just gonna plug yourself, Hector? Is that what's happening? <laughs> no, nah, just kidding. Um, maybe